Hello and welcome to today's Kingdom Hearts 3 stream. We are going to go looking for Roxas in Twilight Town. And I'm, as usual, in the middle of half a cup of coffee. Today, for my Kingdom Brunch 3, I had a bagel and some veggie cream cheese. This is really important information for the archive, and I am glad that it will be preserved on YouTube forever. Who needs a journal? when you've got twitch.tv. That's one of my new philosophies, actually. Today we are heading for the old mansion, but first we have to do some upkeep. I figured I'd start a little faster after the notification today so that I could start working on our inventory. So I've completed a bunch of goals, gotten a bunch of stuff, and they've given me some uh, picture missions, which I didn't check on while we were in the other world. Basically, I need a picture of a water core and a flame core. The flame core will come by pretty soon. The water core we won't have to worry about for a couple of worlds. So let's check out the Keyblade Forge. We definitely want to crank up the hero's origin before anything else. And now we need some fluorite, so we'll get there. And, okay, yeah, we need fluorite even for the beginning of the kingdom key. But luckily, the hero's origin is the most important one for us right now. It's got the best strength. And it turns into that cool shield. Let's take a look at our equipment. Sora needs some armor. Honestly, we could all use armor. And I know I'll find some, but since this is a proud mode run, I might want to go ahead and make or buy some. Let's see if we can make any already. We have two weapons we can make once we get some fluorite and some mithril stone. And we've got all this armor we can eventually make, but I don't have enough stuff for any of it. Because we are relying on random drops to help us out. So I'm not going to worry about the expendable items right now, the usable items. I know there's a word in between those two that I can't think of, but I am gonna see if there's some armor that we can go ahead and buy. And yes, there are some shield belts. Gonna go ahead and give everybody a boost of one defense. Very cheap. And right now, I think Goofy shield is better than this, but this is better than Donald's maybe, so I'm gonna go ahead and buy that. Better put I got a postcard. Luckily, I'm right next to the mailbox. And I got some shards. Great. The postcards come from when the Moogles... When you spend enough at the Moogles, they give you a postcard. And that's the short version of that. Sora, you get a belt. Donald, you get a belt, and you also get a Warhammer. I guess Goofy could have another belt. One is plenty for right now. If I remember right, the old mansion's out past the woods. Great. So we will head out past the woods. We're going to have to explore this town a little more thoroughly in like just a few minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and try to get us toward where we're going. Wow, if I can remember without my map. We gotta watch this real quick so we can get the Mickey at the end. What a beautiful story. I can't believe this town is playing movies about Sora. About old cartoon Sora. What this does do, though, is it gives you a preview of the kingdom of the cell phone games, basically. There's a set of cell phone games you can play that are based on old Game & Watch games. Or at least Game & Watch style. Come on. Give me the picture. Yes. 
I bet that sounds weird in the mic when my PlayStation makes noise. So. <laughs> Sorry. This town apparently does not have a direct line, a direct road to its forest and mountain, and so we have to go underground into the sewer to get there. I think there's a chest over here. Yeah. <laughs> Donald, you're a duck. You're like uniquely qualified to go inside this sewer. You've got the webbed feet. You already live in filth. Are ducks one of those gross animals? Or are they one of the good ones? That's what I wonder. So they like to give you blaster blades in hallways like this to sort of fake the vibe of playing kind of a shooter game. Or not a shooter, a ride shooter. So that way this looks kind of like a two-dimensional area for you to be firing down. And it's a smart idea. It's just usually a little less satisfying to be ranking up racking up low numbers of damage with these than it is to be attacking with your keyblade. It does look really pretty though. Donald, uh, him, the, him complaining here in the sewer has made me think about this. Donald has had a very persistent negativity in the Kingdom Hearts games that is only not there in like plot important uh, conversations or like really important moments where Sora needs to be bolstered. And I think it's an interesting thing about his character that like his comfort zone is to be grumpy but he knows when he's pushed it too far or when his friends are a little too far and he doesn't continue to be grumpy and negative when they're trying to fight Xehanort. It's almost like he feels like he's allowed to be negative because they're doing so well and because stuff is not really a big deal. There's another mouse. There's one up here too. Yeah. This is doubling as a very mild lucky emblem guide because I do not know where they all are, and I am missing a bunch of them. So if you know of one, if I miss one, I do want to get them as we go, so feel free to point one out for me. What do you think they're up to? Man, the delay in this dialogue, this scene is taking like twice as long as it needs to. Look, on that branch, the heartless have him surrounded. Oh no. Do you think like living things are so rare in these worlds that they know that if there is a living thing at all, it must be important? Because <laughs> you see a mouse, and I'm not saying that mice aren't important or that you shouldn't protect them from the heartless, but what makes them look at Ratatouille and go, that's a person that needs help? I guess it is a testament to Sora and company's whole uh, philosophy about how like everybody is kind of important no matter what they look like or what world they're from, and they don't, with the exception of uh, one of the worlds we go to a little bit later, they don't ever really seem to have an opinion about how anybody looks or acts. Like, they're not really worried about... Except for positively. Sora's sometimes excited to be a lion or whatever, but... It's never surprising to him that people in different uh, shapes or animals or whatever would also be communicating. Oof. This is my favorite one! 
It's very fun, and it's such a cool thing that you get to, like, draw the ride that you're going to do at the end. And so you want to try to, like, maximize the amount that you're touching people, both during and afterward, so that when it slides back through, it'll get more hits. Well, take care. <laughs> well, see you later. Whoa, what, what this is terrifying. And it's wild that this is a superpower of Remy's rather than a special thing that had to do Parked on your head. With the movie itself or with the character he was tugging on the hair of. Would you cut that up? He is a mecha pilot to all humans. <laughs> you know, maybe he wants you to pick up the fruit for him. Mm, okay, that's fine, but I can do it by myself. I just need to collect the fruit. Right then. So, so they what are you gonna do pile up the fruit anyway? and then they just leave it here. Huh? Hmm? Uh -huh. Well, okay. You be careful going home. See you around. It is interesting that he still can't communicate. I guess it saves on the voice actor, but we're in a place where a duck and a dog are communicating. And he's obviously smart. Stop the shouldn't, shouldn't the Kingdom Hearts universe give him a voice? And I feel bad that he never gets a real name either. Let's hit him with some fire. Oh, if I can get up. Nice. Got that transformation very fast. Alright, I think that's everybody. This looks like a good spot. Oh, to find some ingredients. <laughs> Here we go. Beautiful. Let's find some stuff to fight. Yep. Okay, we got a few more hits in there. <laughs> So thank you, my lone viewer, for being so steadfast and staying here with me, silently, but true. it's worth it at all to be grinding here. We don't really know exactly what the danger level is going to be like. But the fight we're about to do is one of the first like slightly tougher fights if I remember right. It's over. There. 
I love Sonic Blade! And I think Kingdom Hearts 2, Sonic Blade saved our lives so much. We, uh... You would use it on bosses a lot because it was one of those moves that because you're moving constantly, they can't hit you as well. Thanks, Donald. There we go. A fluorite. That's what we needed to upgrade our Keyblade. Perfect. Let's double check our abilities. I haven't really tried MP safety. Let's see how this works. So... Okay, so it keeps me from using my last bit of MP. That's really cool. I didn't use it at all the last game because I wanted it to be a little bit tougher, but that's such a nice... Wow, that's so cool. Okay. And Unison Fire needs one more... Um, I definitely want to use Healing Magic on friends. I'm not as worried about pull swing. So I'm gonna take that off for right now to give us unison fire. Because the combo finisher is near, your partners are really nice. Donald has a team attack extender. And he's one point away from being able to use his fire boost. Oh, but he also has MP haste. I'm gonna go ahead and give him that right now. And Goofy, I took off his abilities so that he could have defender, I believe. Let's customize our spells. Perfect. Heal. So that cures us. Cool. That's awesome. Go ahead and save. I'm going to grab some more coffee while we watch this cutscene. What do you think, guys? This place is even creepier than I remember. Well, they do say that this mansion is haunted. <sighs> hey there. <gasps> <gasps> Thanks for the heart attack. Oh, what? Did I scare you? I love that they refer to this place as creepy. <laughs> So how did it go? Did you get any leads? <laughs> nope. Braid not. The asking around thing was a total bust. <laughs> yep. This old mansion is our last hope. What a weird writing choice to have them go do a thing that didn't matter at all. That doesn't come back. Nobody heard ready? them asking around and gets Another them in trouble for it. Awaits. Nothing. They just decided to say they were asking around. Yeah. 
I talked about this a little bit on our last stream, but I love the existence of the fake Twilight Town, the the Twilight Town inside of the simulation. And it's very interesting that they're taking such an active role in it. Like, I wonder... They can't really get to it, it turns out, but I wonder what it would be like if you could access a perfect simulation go. of your life, like your town, everything, including you, and you could just mess with it, or you could go inside of it and see stuff, or... I just wonder what you would want to do. Let's get that transporter working. Wait, his login was Pence? Pence was his user, and he was allowed to just put that in there? Oh, man. The transporter's been protected. protected I love that what? the door to darkness is like their operating system. We can't use it to get to the other Twilight Town. Why not? It worked before. We sent Sora there. Well, that was then. And this is now. And there's no other way? None that I know. I don't actually remember when Sora right. went to the other Twilight Town. When was that? Was that just in too sometime? It wouldn't happen to be in I guess it would have been. Huh? Well, yeah, but how do you know that? I was tinkering with Ansem's computer. You know, to decrypt the code that was left in it. The and capital C code. Someone had logged in from another terminal. I figured it might be you. Uh, they have an internet. Oh, yeah, and a cross world internet. Oh, and what? You do? <laughs> it's so great that Sora's been too busy to learn about computers. Then, uh, He's been inside of like three computers and he doesn't know anything about in. them. Oh, hi there. This is Pence. I'm the one who logged into the computer. Good. As long as it's a user that we know we can trust. Yup. But I'm kind of stuck here. Hmm. One of the programs is protected, so I can't uh, run it. Which program? Uh, the transporter to the other Twilight Town. Uh, it's the only way to find Roxas. You gotta help us. Another Twilight Town? And a transporter? Okay. A virtual I guess he was gone data. last time before this was discovered. Because Anthony the Wise was during this, doing this during Chain of Memories. Mm -hmm. Or no, I guess... We've seen one. That's what we used kind of after Chain of Memories, because he had to go get Roxas after all of the stuff from 58 over two days was over. So, let's get a network set up. It definitely was a while before Ienzo would have had a chance to find out about it until now, I guess. Also, my gosh, I just realized our total viewers on my streams so far have crossed over 103 impressions. Incredible. Oh, so famous. Fix it? Now that our two computers have been successfully networked together, I can take control of the terminal there and change the privileges. And Roxas? Yes. For the virtual world to be completely realized, Ansem the Wise would have included Roxas's full data in the construction. Meaning, somewhere on your machine there's a log of that data that... Uh... Basically... We can decipher Ansem's code more quickly, and we can analyze the virtual Twilight Town while we're at it. Okay, great. I can't computer, so do that. Glad you're following along. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll handle it. Chip and Dale will be helping me out here on this end. I'll call you back as soon as we know anything more. Thanks. Oh, so you can put somebody's... It's wild that somebody can be reduced completely to data in this universe. You can be completely summarized. Or I guess more than summarized. Exactly copied. He was recompleted like the rest of us. But hadn't regained consciousness yet. Then, sometime after Lee left, Evan vanished. Alias and Dylan, two you knew as Lexius and Zaldin, they went out looking for him, but he's just gone. And I'm starting to worry. I wonder if this is the same voice actor. You think he's on their side? As when I he was Exion. Possibility. He's a devious researcher. You should be careful. All right. Thanks. Oh no, we got work. I totally forgot. Really? But what about all this? 
Hey, both are important. We're gonna need some cash to go to the beach. Also, they're always don't looking for cash to travel. Gotta buy four now. Hmm? Uh oh, I get it. That moment was the He's most like ahead. this is like the most old school Final Hater Fantasy yeah. <laughs> See ya, Hainer. Bye, sequence. Dad. Something about the way Pence counted and the way she looked around him looked like an older Final Fantasy and game. I'm the computer here, I guess it's their models. In charge of earning my share. No pretzel for Pence. <laughs> hey. <sighs> <laughs> Hmm. All right, so we're heading back to town. So what's next? Want to go back to town? And this is also kind of a rough writing thing that this game does sometimes, where it just makes you do stuff because they're like i guess the next thing you do is you walk and it's fine we have to go find ratatouille but it's an interesting choice for a kingdom hearts game which is typically felt very high stakes so it's interesting that kingdom hearts 3 stays pretty consistently chill compared to those two stuff is happening but it, none of it seems very pressing Zemnis. Roxas should never have existed in the first place. They also the see is seem really chill about the fact that Heartless are around. Roxas it used to really exist. matter, and now they just are a part of the environment. Heart. And in the unlikely event you did manage to separate the two, where is it you think you can put his heart? And see, this is where Zemnis. Well, starts to reveal that he's kind of been making stuff up really clearly. Just then he tries to tell Sora it doesn't matter what you're doing. And then Sora says, well, it does matter. And then Zimnus admits, okay, well, maybe he does have a heart. But if even if you do have that, then what does it matter now? Which is like a pretty classic jerk, bad guy tactic to just keep moving the goalpost. Changing what the success... I don't know what the success... Uh, Changing how you win the conversation or the argument or the battle for the light versus darkness. I don't see any reason why you and Roxas can't find a way. Oh, yeah. Goofy has always been the smart one, but he also is very good at pep talks. Nothing would please us more than Roxas's return, of course. You wish he'll never answer to you again. Still so blind, a nobody is what's left behind when one gives his heart to darkness. There is only one way to bring Roxas back, which is for you to give your heart up as well. Sora, have you finally decided to call upon the darkness? <gasps> what? Go on then. The shadows are never out of reach. This is a thread. They pulled this line in now, the. Set your heart free. In the trailer, and they showed us that sequence, and they introduced the idea that maybe Sora would open his heart to darkness. And that's another piece of the story that crops up here that does not continue. And I'm just really curious about why they did that. Let's go back to the right keyblade. Yeah. Chariot time. This camera is so disconcerting every time. Discombobulating? Confusing. Flare force. Let's hit those teacups. Th 
the dusks have such an interesting they're like wiggly humanoid design somehow managed to get like even creepier in this version of the game but the tall heartless the tall shadows are still very cool i guess they're called the neo shadows still very cool and i love them But like, what darkness is Sora worried about releasing? Is it? It's not just that dark form, because we do that a lot. Said, Hello. He said, "With all my heart." It's good to see you, Lucknow. Okay, then all my heart it is. I'm getting Roxas out. Are you with me, Donald? Goofy? <laughs> you with <laughs> you? I don't know what Ansem and Xemnas want, but I think we better tell the others to watch out. I don't know how long you've been here, but we okay, just, uh, saw back. Ansem and Xemnas. <laughs> and they told Sora to please go ahead, let the darkness into your heart. And we are gonna very quickly not talk about it for the rest of the game. Let's see. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that's totally true I, I can maybe help a little bit so heart basically means soul so when they talk about a heart they don't mean your physical heart they mean the thing that makes up you and but yes definitely the you would without playing the game and without context clues you would never know that because they don't ever explicitly spell out what a heart is exactly they just expect you to listen enough that you get it the light and dark is a is a little bit easier it's basically the like what you hear as light and dark in all sort of like fantasy settings where they talk about the darkness as like an evil force that is often tied to aggression or anger and the light as a positive one that is tied to like gentleness or kindness yeah yeah it can be troublingly othering it's sort of it's closest to the way that the uh star wars talks about light and dark and even in the same way that they talk about how how they're sort of hinting in the more recent star wars movies that like the dichotomy between light and dark isn't as simple as people have been talking about it. Like, maybe darkness isn't necessarily evil. There's a lot of that in Kingdom Hearts as well, especially in Riku's story, where they cover the idea that Riku, having been to the darkness for a little while now, actually makes him stronger because he went through something tough and almost lost the, like, quote-unquote, good parts of him. But now that he has seen the darkness and he's learned how to control it, he's stronger and he can walk kind of a middle path, a gray path. And also, technically, Mickey walks that gray path with him, so I would be very interested to see what, like, dark mode Mickey is like when he actually was dealing with potentially being evil and angry all the time. And no... The good thing about the dark light thing with this compared to, say, Lord of the Rings is that no being is born necessarily dark or light so there's not there's not a way that you like a creature doesn't just like wake up a being of the darkness and the heartless came from people who like chose a path of anger and fury or selfishness and as a result they um lost themselves and eventually became heartless So it's supposed to be about the choices you make. It's not always 100% clear how it works exactly, but I would say Star Wars is a pretty good measure. Did I go backwards? I think so.
Oh, nope, I did it. Cool. Well, bless Whoa. my bagpipes. It was you laddies who rescued my chef. Bless my bagpipes. Uncle Scrooge has been in a couple of different Wait, games, and he's looked exactly the same in all of them. Bastion? That's right. But Uncle Scrooge here is what you might call a He's been around all the way since Birth by cool. Sleep when he gave tickets to Ventus to take all three of his friends to oh, Disneyland, Sona. basically. You're looking hale and hearty. <laughs> no, this is not David Tennant. I hope Donald isn't making a menace of himself. Why would you have to say that? So, Uncle Scrooge, what's that you were saying about a chef? Oh, right, right. The chef of my bistro here wanted to show you his appreciation. I haven't watched any of the new DuckTales, or I've seen, like, little bits and pieces of episodes, mm. but I've heard it's really fun. What is it? I think Austin's watched it and liked it a lot. Wow! Cake! Hmm? The whole cake? It's for us? Huh? I uh, settle down. Uh, the chef wants you to know it's not a cake, but a tart of fruit. He does. A tart Why of fruit. Why is it under my hat? May I introduce little chef? So the oh, mouse could talk to you. Uncle Scrooge directly. Hi. They must get really stuffy inside people's hats. When I was enjoying one of the best meals of my life. And when I asked to speak He to looks chef, so cute. He looks just like he does in the movie basically. As it turns out, he wanted to expand his culinary horizons. So, I thought that's an opportunity and I financed the whole operation. Ooh. I think he wants to cook some more for you. But then how did he Get some ingredients? How did he it's translate unusual. the fact fun. that it's a tart of fruit? Like a huh? But yeah, nobody and seems to know his real name. The mark of a truly great chef is creating masterpieces out of anything. You can start right here in town. Would that be anything to try more Is that the real food? mark of a truly yeah. great chef? The, a really great that chef can take a tire and can make something delicious. delicious. A really incredible chef okay. could incredible borrow your hat and give you back a tarto fruit. I'm so, on, like, stressed by the cooking mini games in this game. Some of them I still do not understand how to do correctly, and I've gotten some perfects on certain kinds of them, but I have not. Done a great job. But let's find some ingredients. I think I know where some are. And yeah, the Pixar stuff looks so good. Oh, I love that you can busk. <laughs> yes, give me some money. Yes, thank you, everyone. I'm a beautiful performer. Kids got skills. Oh, the map. I wonder if it's exciting to anybody to see this kid jumping around on their roofs and on the sides of their houses. I would be so stoked to see somebody who could do this. Let's get this lucky emblem. Plates. These are my favorite lucky emblems. The ones that are made out of stuff rather than being made out of um, just like a texture added to the wall. They're really nice. Woo! A chest. It's so sad how small Twilight Town feels in this one, but they did a really good job with this sort of like tight map with all these levels. I just wish it was a little bit bigger. I miss some of the old pathways. Hi everybody, sorry to interrupt your movie. 
Sorry to jump on your heads and also your projector. Oh, the projector is also like kind of a Mickey Mouse. Cute. I guess that's sort of an organic one because projectors just sort of look like that probably. <laughs> With the two reels. So many chests. All right, gotta perform for these guys. Pay me. That's incredible. $60, all I had to do was spin. Maybe they're like kind of accumulating the money they're willing to tip you based on all of the wall running they've seen you do. This kid is incredible. He's doing the least interesting thing he I've seen him do all day, but I'll pay him for that. Definitely. Le Grand Bistot. Nope, that was horrible. But let's pretend that I know French. Hey, guys! Oh. Hayner, Olette. Uh, hey, boss. Uh, Down with the posters. Uh -huh. Hi. Good work, kids. You guys work for Uncle Scrooge here at the bistro? Um, do we? <laughs> He gave us a short job Do putting we? up these special posters. Mr. McDuck's hosting an open-air film festival in the courtyard. Cool, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, Sora. This is called the tram comment. But the tram don't seem to go anywhere else. So I guess it's just that's the... There, you've just this area is best known for film. its tram that you loops it around it in a circle. Of course, laddie! Provide a bit of entertainment, and then give folks a nice, cozy place to relax. Like my bistro here. They'll all be happy and hungry, and eager to spend their money. <laughs> Donald is so disappointed in his... I always uncle's capitalism. ...customers coming into his businesses over and over. Oh, yeah, I'm no business guy, but I sure wouldn't want to be one of Uncle Scrooge's competitors. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. I need to warn you guys. Why? Well, those creepy crawly things might come back for more. So stay on your toes. Did these kids always sure. have these outfits, or did but theirs change to plaid for this for game as well? You have to leave again? I do not remember. Mm hmm. <laughs> But we'll definitely be back. When are you gonna slow down? Sorry. Just do me a favor. Well, what is it? Don't make it too tough. I know how Roxas feels to be lost. But Donald and Goofy, Kyrie, brought me back by wishing with all their hearts. Sora's big wide neckline mm. and that little necklace feel so like something someone much older than him would wear. And wish for Roxas. For going to the club. What? That's it? <laughs> That's no favor. We'll all wish. I'm wishing. Yeah. Me and Pence too. <laughs> Thanks. The bad guys in Kingdom Hearts 3 love to watch. They just love to sit there and stare. Aren't you making it a little too obvious? We were instructed to guide him. Yes, just look at them. They wouldn't get far if we did not spell it out. Huh. Fair enough. But let's not forget how many times Sora still managed to rain on our parade. If he wavers from the path we lay, we destroy him. But in that case... We'll have to find ourselves another vessel. The path they lay. He would never have found that mouse. Never have just one iron in the fire. If we hadn't made fun of him. He would never have collected nine ingredients. If we hadn't attacked the mouse with our heartless. They need to make sure their ultimate enemy is well fed. 
The shooting star keyblade is so fun. I love the guns. Hello, all 3890. What's up with you? We brought some ingredients. Let's see if we can make some stuff. Whew. Okay. Cracking my knuckles. Getting limber for this. We have to do some cooking. Is the food ready yet? I see everything is little Mickey's now. Those two windows mm -hmm. and the little square thing. I think they're the same as from Ratatouille, but he right now, started? that looks like a Mickey. Huh? Whoa, whoa, hold on. Hey, hey. Oh no! Oh, Doing pretty whoa. good. Not super excited about cooking, so we're gonna do this until You're I get some excellence and then move on. Okay, uh, this one, these are the easiest ones. Let's go. If I can, now I'm gonna mess it up now that I've said it. I feel so much pressure with people watching. That one is, we did it. like, a very obvious win condition, and I have lost it very rarely, but the egg one and the one where, and this one, the, like, or not this one, the pepper grinder one's also okay, but the fire one and the egg one are the worst. The egg is even a little bit better than the fire. The fire one, I still just, like, do not understand what to do. The chopping one, you just have to do it quickly. This one, you have to pull the egg apart very gently. Ah, see? You're supposed to do it when the sparkle appears. You're supposed to click the buttons. And I thought the sparkle was appearing, but I pressed it too soon. Let's try again. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. This is the most nervous I have felt on stream so far. Oops. No! Sorry. Too fast, too hard. One more. You've seen the truth of my experience with the eggs. I actually normally do not get the too hard one. That's kind of a new thing. But if I'm gonna mess up, let's mess up big. <laughs> Perfect example. Can we try that one again? Yes, okay. Is Sully a kind of fish? I guess so. I don't know that I've ever had it. The best thing about cooking is that there are only four kinds of dishes. And in this case, I'm talking about the real world. There's peppers, eggs, chopping, and flames. Here's the flame. The flame has you doing this sort of uh, Rachel Ray style olive oil pouring. Okay, I, s I can tell you the truth and it's that I don't know why that one wasn't excellent. <laughs> But we did our best. We got some sweet bread. Poele plus. Cancel that one. Let's try this other egg one. See if I can at least make one. Yeah. See that? The sparkle was there. Sorry. In my regular playthrough. Yeah, I I have failed in this a million times, but in my regular playthrough, how 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 this so bad? I'm gonna be a little more patient this time. I'm gonna be gentle with the egg. Oh no, I don't get any more. <laughs> okay, that's fine. We'll leave for now. Next time I'll be more patient with the egg ones. I'm very proud of how well that fire one went. To be honest, that does not normally happen. But now we get to go back into the gummy ship, explore some more planets. Oh, and we have our first choice. Uh, since we've got a couple of people here and talking, you guys can help me pick what my choice is for which planet. We can go in order if we want the slightly easier proud mode zone, or we can go out of order if we want to do, if you'd rather do the other planet first. I forget what our choice is here exactly, so let's go find out. And I'm sure we'll have a couple more cutscenes on the way. Yeah. Oh, first, I think we can upgrade our Keyblade again. No. Sora loves to run up walls. 
And what are our photo missions now? We also need a Chief Puff and the Statue of Hercules. Okay. I'm mostly not going to go backwards for those while we're just doing the main play, because having done them on my other file, I've realized that they don't give us like the most incredible rewards for just like casual playthrough. If we realize we need a certain item, I'll definitely go back and do it. And now we need Damascus, which luckily you can find in large quantities in space. To the world map. I'm sorry I left without saying goodbye. Did Master Yensa tell you? I'm training to become a Keyblade wielder like you. Kyrie. That's right. No more waiting for you to come back from your adventures. I want to get out there and do my part to help. Merlin has used his magic to bring us to a place where time doesn't matter. We can take as long as we need to complete our training. This is like an amazing wizard. true and not true. When you talk about time like that and you say oh, it doesn't matter, the, us, the, the true result of that would be that she would already She's be really back. Like, we are getting a letter from her and that's cool, but she would already be back like, with Sora if it didn't take any time. My friend Austin, his first theory was that this was going to be the Hundred Acre Wood. Like, that's where they were training. And I really, really wish that was true. But it never gets confirmed. And we also never get to actually see Kyrie and Lee uh, training together, which is so sad. But this scene is so beautiful. And I have had a crush on Axel since I was, like, in middle school. So it's been really great to see him in such high def. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. It was such a smart Sorry. idea that Austin had, and they were so vague about where they were. And because we know Merlin has the book of the Hundred Acre Wood, it seemed like it make a, it would make a lot of sense for them to go like practice dueling keyblades near Tigger or whatever. And because the Hundred Acre Wood has kind of a vague visual, like you don't really know what it looks like, and this is just a big forest. But. It doesn't get confirmed, and it really seems like, based on the first couple worlds of this game and the things they tease, like the uh, having Maleficent look for the black box, having the those two bad guys tease Sora about letting in the darkness, and then seeing this, and like putting, having them put so much energy into this cutscene and talk about them training so much and getting the new outfits, it's uh, it seems like there's a lot of stuff that could have been in this game that maybe just didn't make it. What? I am. <laughs> yeah, 100 acres or more, at least. Mm. The way his little things swing while he's sitting around. So yep. cool. To Sora. Mm, technically, yes. But I won't send it. It's more for me. I like that touch. There are a lot of little touches in this game that allow people to have yeah. like but it's okay. character and I just like idiosyncratic things that they're doing that are Even if it's on paper. not plot relevant necessarily. Oh. Though to be fair, she was writing this journal <laughs> so that we could know what was going on. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't realize how much he just pulls those out of nowhere. Wow. <laughs> Thank you for <laughs> preparing me for that. And if you look behind him, there's nothing there. Maybe that's maybe that's Keyblade magic. He just he just Keyblade summoned <laughs> the popsicles. He used a blizzard spell. Combined with a salt ingredient. Oh my gosh. What? Well, uh, nothing. I just... You're trying to remember what you forgot? Well, I, uh... Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so tomorrow, they must be so gross. She, like, does not want to take a bite out of it because ready? she's like, where did this come from? Of course. We came in a place where time doesn't matter, and there are no germs. Oh. Oh. Wow, and he even wasted it right away. Oh. Hmm. Huh? Are you okay? Lee? My uh, sweet baby boy. Yeah. Sorry. I love the 58 over two days so What's much, wrong? and I, I really do kind of want to play it on here and talk about it some more. Something in my eyes. Okay. But I'm not sure how to get a 
DS game. Because I'm pretty sure it was DS. I'm not sure how to get a DS game streaming through the program I'm using, but I might be able to figure something out. We'll see. I just don't have a way to get a DS to HDMI connection. Call me Axel from now on. And this is really sweet that he wants to keep the name for now from the like time that he finds most important. When he was Axel, he got to make two new best friends. I don't want to mod my DS, my poor thing. Actually, I've got, I have a couple and I don't play the actual DS so much anymore. So that might be possible. I might be able to figure that out. But I did not talk about modding. And I don't talk about anything illegal. I just don't talk about it. So don't, uh, don't worry about that, viewers. Nintendo. <laughs> Hope you're enjoying the stream, Jeremy Nintendo. So this is the place. Where Aqua fell into the realm of darkness after she dove in to save Terra. Yeah. She fell in after she dove she in. She said he was acting strange. Strange how, exactly? She sensed darkness in him. And they ended up getting into a big fight. So this big fight they're talking right. about was kind of the, the result of Birth the by Sleep. Disappeared. They... Around the same time, the guards found a stranger with white hair lying unconscious here in the square. Tara ends up getting... A man calling himself... His body Zaynort. ends up getting taken over by Xehanort, but she saves his heart slash soul. And that has allowed Tara to continue existing Xehanort in a suit of armor master. for like a hundred years or whatever. And separated his heart from his body. he has been trying to get his body back for a long time. And his body was the one that was switched into. Took his master's name, yeah, they're telling Ansel, us right now. And traveled to the past to give his younger self instructions. He even briefly had control of you. His empty body stayed in the present, took the name Xemnas, and founded Organization 13. Their goal was to prepare 13 vessels for Xehanort's heart. Until we put an end to the organization. But all the while, young Xehanort had been visiting the future to choose 13 vessels of his own. Visiting the future. Had strong enough ties to him to begin a new organization. The real Organization 13. And now they're looking for a fight with us. Yeah, it's kind of like but Alphonse, except he's an adult. And he doesn't I talk very much. And he's a secret him. boss. And he's just like this like grumpy yep, emo teen friend we didn't notice you remember the end of the mark of mastery exam <laughs> the phrase the emo Zanort that's so funny that that return. came out i guess that is Zanort i still associate remember. that back with the time he was already a pretty old man then but how do you explain ansem and Zemnis, his heartless and his nobody isn't it strange how young they look why aren't they old men I appreciate that the game is going through when the split this happened. much work to re-describe everything. That face from the portrait I mentioned? But the funny it's thing about it is that if you're a new player, all of this is still name. too much information. It like, it's still not really useful. But what they're really doing for old players is they're confirming a lot of that things that old players had sort Master of was using uh, insinuated. Master Xehanort told us Inferred. another on our list belonged to him. <laughs> yeah, a gorgeous old man. About Terra. Turns out, Aqua saved more than just her friend that day. Lagno, did you know that Xehanort was okay. originally voiced by but Leonard Nimoy? An and the new guy is trying now. to kind of copy his voice, but not, a, not exactly doing a copy, just sort of trying to get in the same Master zone Xehanort's of put together old man to with kind of a serious grumbly voice. But Terra must still be on Xehanort's side. He's with Organization 13? We should warn Sora. Yup! And Merlin too! Yeah. Whew. Well, that was a nice long summary.
Okay, so an interesting thing about these maps is that you can only go like left to right and the way that you change how that works is you just rotate where the camera is. So every time you're trying to travel around, it's you have to like change the way that you've oriented the camera so that it's left to right opinion is different. It's very, very strange. And like weird that they don't just give me a free cursor. Okay, so our choices now are to go to either Toy Story World or Tangled World. By level, Toy Story World is the next one, but I'm happy to go to either. Do you have a preference, Lachna? Yeah! Good. <laughs> Toy Story is my favorite. So I'm very excited. Uh... I guess... Do we have any, like... No. I could build a new one. Let's just keep doing this one for now. Actually, no, that'll be what we do for the end of this one, is let's make a little gummy ship and just try to get it set up. My trick last time that worked great is that I made it basically entirely out of guns. <laughs> I wonder what the two directions one is like. Wow, look at these beautiful guns. <laughs> I actually probably need to change that because we're going to need some movement, but that's fine. Let's see, what is this at? Speed 10, speed 50? Okay. This lowers the power a little, but we've got a lot of power. Perfect. Oh yeah, and we have to have a cockpit, so I definitely will have to take some. Wow. Beautiful. <laughs> I don't want to spend too much- Oh my gosh, cat ears? I don't think I ever found that last time. How do we rotate it? This? <laughs> wow, beautiful. I don't have enough for two. Oh, I only have one. It's a <laughs> It's perfect. <laughs> what a good ship. We've got lots of offense, very little rolling and power. We don't have any wing and wheel gummies anyway. Oh, I guess I could have added a laser. How much does that cost? 100. How much did these cost? Okay. Abilities. What do you have? Cannon upgrade for sure. Save it. Hmm. What do we call this one? Gosh, naming a ship. Flames, firepower, guns. S super strong. Gonna name it. I'm trying to think of a good. I was trying to think of a good Final Fantasy reference. All I can think of right now is Koopa, but that's not great. Let's see. Okay. 
This one's name is Pew. All right, let's see how it goes. <laughs> oh, not the editor. We want to go to Embark. We want to go to Toy Story World. No. Set up. Mansion. Pew. <laughs> it is beautiful. <laughs> My poor creature. Time to get out there into space. Okay, we are headed towards that way. Wow, it does have shots in a lot of directions though, that's very cool. We need to find a couple Damascuses while we're out here. So I'm gonna go looking for those. Here we go. I'm gonna stop shoot these blue things. All of these blue rocks have treasures in them, which I know I talked about on a different episode, I believe. And they have a chance of dropping stuff that you can use for synthesis as well as blocks that you can use for your ship. Okay. So I'm not sure how to do the lock, like it's locking on, but I'm not sure how to make the laser happen. Doesn't seem to happen on its own. Oh, it did. It just eventually shot. That's cool. It's neat that these, so those round ones will push you in whatever direction you're going, which is a nice touch. Do, do, do. What is this? Oh, is this my first time actually getting in a fight? Whew. Oh, I can attack these as well. Okay, good. <laughs> For the most part, the gummy ship stuff is not all that difficult. Especially if you do what I did. From what I can tell, just like giving yourself a lot of guns is often the best path. Oof. Oh, I see. So the lasers let go whenever I let go of my shooting, so I have to take a break from shooting my regular gun to fire the lasers off. This flower is making me think of that uh, boss in Mario Odyssey, where you fight the big flower UFO. UFO inside of flowers in the world where you become the little growing plant. Which has the best song in that game. Woo! Oh no, my first hit. Oh no, that's my, f <laughs> that's my first gummy ship death brought to you by the fact that I had no HP. <laughs> Let's retry because I didn't add any other blocks to it. Well, that was our first death. Welcome to proud mode, everybody.
Okay. Very big laser. We will get through this. Every time it's attacking like that, I really am surprised that I'm not getting hit. Ooh. Nice, okay. One true fact about me is I actually really love bullet hell games. I like, and I like games like this shooter, spacey shooter games. Usually the balance of the gummy ship stuff has made it kind of unappealing to me. And also because I like bullet hells that are like themed a little differently from just like being in space and shooting. Like I really like the way obviously Nier Automata did it and I really liked uh, Just Shapes and Beats, which was a game that came out on maybe on more than just the Switch, but definitely on the Switch last year, which is a great game that does a whole like bullet dodging uh, gameplay combined with uh, music, and it's all timed to the music really, really well. Okay, come on. There we go. It's a long boss fight. I only got hit the one time, but one time was enough to not get the untouchable. Oh, we're actually headed that way, huh? Well, let's do that. And I'll get this crystal while we're up here. Constellations? Why did it cue that for me? Maybe I saw one in the distance. Ah yes. Tons of blue rocks. Just what we need. If I remember right, it seems like we have not found a Damascus yet. And you need like three per like upgrade round. Not three every time you upgrade, but each keyblade ends up using like three for three upgrades in a row. <laughs> oh, also it's Valentine's Day. <laughs> Thank you for joining me here on Workday Valentine's Day. I'm happy to give you this gift in the form of Kingdom Hearts. The one true Valentine. Still maybe no Damask guy. <laughs> the plural of Damascus. And by this point in my regular playthrough, I was also a much higher level on the gummy ship because I messed around a lot more. Oh my gosh, look at all these blue rocks. Let's get in there. My little ship with a cat ear, ready to roll. Dude. 
do not want to go fight that five-star boss right now. Yes! I feel like they were so common when I was just running around before. Oh, there's some fluorite, that's nice. At least they made the act of collecting this stuff kind of fun. Like, it's cool to see these rocks, like, explode into stuff you can use. The gummy ship basically has two settings, moving and not moving. And then you also have a boost, but the main thing is that you can turn off the move at any time, which is a really neat thing for a game like this. The They do not have full rotation though when you're still or when you're moving. Like this is as far down as I can point it. So you aren't able to do a full turnaround and they do keep you oriented like with the same up, which I guess is to try to keep you from getting sick with doing gravity in a weird way. But it would be kind of fun to be able to like do a full flip around in this zero G environment. There's a Damascus. So we got at least one. And tons of fluorite, so we are all set. And this stuff is all renewable too, these rocks come back, so it's one of the nicest places to get those Keyblade materials, at least that I've found. Because later on you start finding Damascus in treasure chests around the world, and it just makes me wonder, like, if you were really ignoring the gummy ship stuff, how, like, how much less often you would be upgrading your Keyblade. Okay, let's see if I can beat this boss. <laughs> without any health at all. Like this. Oh yeah, it seems like this boss is going to be maybe a little easier than that other boss was. Which is nice. We'll see if that's true though, I don't want to eat my words on that one. It's funny that this guy has these big gun arms, and we're like already halfway through this fight and all he's used is those little turrets. And now down there, he's got those giant arms and he's just not interested. And see this again? Everything, every design in this game makes me think of a Mickey. Those little rotating circles. They train your brain. You go out into the world and you start seeing hidden Mickeys everywhere. Yes! I also like this guy's design, his big horns. I just wish he was <laughs> using his weird arms at all. He did not use his arms one time that whole fight. They seem like a very important part of his construction. The Astro Warrior! That's so cool. Great. Let's head back in there. 
Let's go. And now it's time for a commercial break. Hmm. A word from our sponsors. This is so cool. Oh, I just realized that these guys break up into those weird cubes. Hmm. We can talk about that later. <laughs> yeah, it does. Uh, I love, like... I guess it's kind of a bad thing to put in the middle of your game something that looks like it would be a really, really fun, different game. But it works really well in this case. It just seems like such a parody of Tetsuya Nomura's own stuff. Like that first Virum Rex picture with all the swords just looks like a Final Fantasy XV poster, but red. And also all their clothes. Watching that. Uh, sorry, but this is no time for television, Rex. Gotta say that Giga is pretty impressive. Really? I like this aura most. <laughs> Woody, what gives? Are they back? Oh my gosh, it looks so good in this world. Every character looks so nice. All right, guys. Today we teach those mask intruders who's boss. Is everybody in position? Wait, hold on. I don't think I'm emotionally prepared. It just took Will me like 30 down? seconds to remember Tom don't Hanks's worry, name. Yeah, and in my head, the way that I got there was I was like, the guy that was in the Carly Rae Jepsen music video for Really Really Like You. <laughs> what is his name? It's go time. And this is actually like Jim Hanks. I think is his name something like that his little brother I really do wonder if they worked with Pixar a lot of the models are so well done that you wonder if they just like got the rig directly like when we talked about with um, we'll see it in the frozen world but so much of what they do is so on point that it seems like it must have been borrowed or shared or something where are we I wonder if they make shots like this anticipating the trailer. Oh my gosh, have we been shrunk? I guess they probably do. And, and look at us. Border? <laughs> Usually they act like they can just understand Donald, so it's funny when they make fun of the fact that he doesn't make any sense. Okay, we go on three. One... Wait. What are you doing? Who are those guys? Oh, I haven't tried the shot lock for this one. Oh, oops. Well. <laughs> The Atomic Deluge. Whoa! That's very cool looking. Oh, they do that in DuckTales as well? I'm really glad. The, uh... It's, it's good that they touch on it because it's been a weird part of Donald's character for years and years. So it's nice that they acknowledge that <laughs> Donald's voice especially is very silly. Oh, 
uh, one other thing you can do here. This was something that first came up in Birth by Sleep. In Birth by Sleep, during the Cinderella world, you were able to become mouse-sized and run around on a ball of yarn while you were fighting a cat or while you were fighting a heartless after the cat was gone. Are they new? Donald had a teen emo phase? I have to see this. Wait, this what? sounds like such a good show. Yeah. Familiar. I know this. You're, uh, uh, you're, uh, Yazora. Yora, Yora, Yazora. My name's Sora. <laughs> Lots of good. For all we know, the intruder said Good sounds there. Slow Some uh, there, assonance. We don't know them. But we can trust them. They're the number one selling heroes in the country. Yeah. Yeah, Donald Duck was at one point a part of Fallout Boy, but he screamed too high. Did you see how he Phoenixed too hard. And uh figure out why lost his voice forever. And why Buzz's laser started actually laser. I wish I had a Donald Duck impression and I could just give you some some pop punk right now. Let's not jump to conclusions. Hmm. Gotta be smart, Woody. So you're Andy's new toys? Toys? You sure did a number on those intruders. Those are the heartless. The bad guys. We've been fighting against those intruders for a while. I knew it! <laughs> hmm. Okay. <laughs> In that case, you're all right by me. Woody's ready to believe. My name's Woody. Put her there. Hey. Now, hold on. I'm Sora. You're Sora! <laughs> Actually, my name's Sora. I want Well, I'm Goofy. Sora doesn't even I'm look very much like Sora. Buzz Lightyear. Call me Ham. It's a real honor. I love Ham. And I'm Rex. Ham's toes are I'm really long. Fan. Or his toenails. Fact, I've been playing your game for months now, and I've already gotten you all the way up to level 47. But that Bahamut boss is really tough. Slinky and I can't figure <laughs> out how to beat him. Oh, I wish Slinky and the others were here. They'd be so happy to meet you. All troops at attention, mm -hmm. sir. Huh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Strangers from the outside. The way their lips are animated is very cute. They're they just open directly up. So that's why we look the way we do. Huh? Excuse me. You said that you've battled those intruders before. Tell us where and why. Oh, well, uh, we are. <laughs> oh. Well, you must have come from somewhere. Hmm. Take it easy, Buzz. What matters is that they got those intruders out of our way for at least a little while. No need to interrogate them. Yeah, Buzz. Woody's right. Noted. <laughs> Look at him's toes. Hey, mm -hmm. have those intruders, the Heartless, been a problem around here? No, they just showed up a little while ago. In fact, those Heartless materialized right after all of our friends up and vanished. You don't shoot. Well, gee, it can't just be a coincidence. Mm. It wasn't always this lonely. One day we woke up and we were the only toys left here. Nobody's It's a nice plot mom, reason to Molly not have to Andy. animate every single toy from Toy Story or explain why they're not all hanging out there. And they get into why a little bit later, and I'm excited we to talk about it. We keep waiting for Andy to come home. You really care about him. <laughs> yeah. He's the best friend that toys like us could ever hope to have. All right. We better start looking. Huh? Have you got any clues we can go on? Any other strange things that happened? Well, hmm. Hmm. Oh gosh. I'm remembering that you got a friend with me in me plays this whole level, and I'm thinking I might have to mute it for myself. <laughs> After everyone went MIA, Oof. the intruders didn't come alone. They arrived with a guy wearing a hood dressed in black just like you. 
I don't know that he looks like an Organization 13 member He's right the now. the only other toy we've seen outside of you three. A black hood? <gasps> but that would mean... The organization! You know who it is? <laughs> yeah. They're bad news. Seems like you have a lot of enemies. We may have a hunch what's causing all the weirdness. Would you mind if we handle this? I'm sorry. But we're not gonna leave this to you. Huh? If that guy had something to do with our friends vanishing, then he's our problem too. We've got to work together. Yeah, that's fair. He does look like an anime toy. Right. But the dressed in black <laughs> thing, like the cloak is very different. So then, where can we find that guy? Sarge, any word from the recon team? The latest reports place him in town, sir, at Galaxy Toys. Then Galaxy Toys is where we're going. Sora, huh? follow me. It's out the window <laughs> and down the roof. They're all Gokus now. Not so fast, cowboy. Hmm? You seem pretty gung-ho about going. But shouldn't we stay here and wait for Andy? Well, this is some of the most interesting actual, like, point, but personalities clashing and having point. real conversations that Look, Kingdom Hearts ever really does, Sora, especially with the worlds. This dynamic between Buzz Are and Woody is me? so good. Buzz? And I guess it is somewhat of a testament to how well characterized they are in the movie, but also how much freedom they had to use the Pixar characters, it seems like, okay. and Let's write new scripts up. for them. Okay, that's all for today. Next time, we'll start out with a little bit of upgrading. Oh, look at the little bolt in Sora's back. I've never seen that before. We'll start out with some upgrading. We'll get our equipment and everything ready. And then we will move on. But for now, that was our stream for today. Thank you for joining me, Kingdom Brunch 3. I haven't announced my next stream yet. There will be a couple next week that I should announce this weekend. I got my edits back on a book that I'm working on, so it might be a little bit less than I did this week. We'll see. Might be just one of each. It definitely depends. Either way, the recording of my stream last night where I did the first demo missions of that upcoming mech game, Damon X Machina, on the Switch should be up later today. And the video for this, if you missed any of it, will be up later tonight or tomorrow. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you, Logno, for chatting. It always is so much nicer to stream when I've got you around to talk to. And I will see you soon for some more Kingdom Hearts. Have a great day.